With conditional formatting, you can apply formatting to a cell range based solely on its current values compared to specific criteria. To access conditional formatting options, go to the Styles group of the Ribbons Home tab. Click Conditional Formatting and a drop-down menu appears. The easiest types of conditional formatting to apply to a worksheet cell range are the pop-up palettes of graphical scales and markers attached to the data bars, color scales, and icon sets options. Data bars represent the relative values in the cell selection by the length of the color bar in each cell. These are great for helping you quickly spot the lower and higher values within a large range of data. Here you see that the data bars added to the cells in the first cell range, B2 to B12, represent the relative size of its values graphically, much like a standard bar chart. Color scales classify the relative values in a cell selection with a color gradation using a 1, 2, or 3 color scale. Color scales applied to the second range, D2 to D12, represent the relative size of the values in the range by color and hue. The red hues are applied to the lower values, yellow to the middle values, and green to the higher ones. Icon sets classify the values in the cell selection into three to five categories, and each icon within the set represents a range of values that go from high to low. Directional icons applied to the third cell range, F2 to F12, represent the relative size of the values in the range with arrow icons pointing in different directions. The arrows pointing straight down are for the lower values, straight up for the higher values, and sideways for middling values. The options under Highlight Cells Rules and Top Bottom Rules enable you to quickly identify cell entries of interest in various cell ranges. The options on the Highlight Cells Rules continuation menu let you set formats that identify values that are greater than, less than, equal to, or even between particular values that you set. This menu also contains an option for setting special formats for identifying cells that contain text, like yes or no answers, or certain dates, such as project milestones and deadlines. The options on the top bottom rules continuation menu let you specially format and easily identify values in data tables and lists that are either above or below the norm. You can automatically format all values in a range that are among the top 10 highest or lowest, either in value or percentage, but also above or below the average. One of the quickest and easiest ways to apply conditional formatting to a data table is with the Quick Analysis tool. To do so, select the data in your table that you want to format, then select the Quick Analysis tool. By default, the formatting option is selected when Excel displays the tool's palette, so that all you have to do is highlight each of the formatting options with your mouse or touch pointer to see how they will look on your data. Note that if you click the Greater Than button on the Quick Analysis palette, Excel displays a Greater Than dialog box where you specify the threshold value in the Format Cells That Are Greater Than text box, as well as select the color of the formatting for all the cells above that threshold in the drop-down list to its right. With all the other kinds of conditional formats, Excel applies the default option for that kind of formatting on the Conditional Formatting button's drop-down menus.